so technically what they're saying here if you have a company and you have to you're handling on a different name you need to make sure that you have the books of the company i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and belief so we're going to look at the question what is sole trader so if you're a sole trader what are you according to the law the thing is when you look at the law the it doesn't say what um what exactly it is what kind of right you have it doesn't say but there are different kind of regulation where you can find the rules that apply for you and in the chamber of commerce in the regulation of chamber of commerce you can find some rules that uh, say something about you if you're a sole trader so let's see what it says a dutch aman zaak is a legal structure without legal personality this is really important and i'm going to show you what it is and what the difference is so you can know if they talk about legal personality what they're trying to say is when you have a bv a limited company bv has an uh limited a legal personality yeah legal personality means when you go to court or when you um uh, sign a contract the bv sign a contract not you as a person sign the contract keep that in mind so if you're a sole trader i need to get used to this if you're a sole trader and you sign a contract you as a person is bound to the contract so if you sign a contract with a company for example company x you and company x have a contract if you're a sole trader but if you are bv so you have a bv and um you are the shareholder or board member doesn't matter so this is you and the bv sign a contract with the company the bv is bound to the contract not you as a person that's what they say but that's what they mean by legal personality why is this important if something happened with the bv they cannot come after you here if something happens with your company a sole trader they can come after your personal stuff and that's something that's important to know when you want to be a sole trader okay so that's what they say here about legal personality so trader, you can, you are responsible liable for the company's finance and its debts all those things see you can only set up a sole trade in netherlands but you can operate on the various name perform different commercial activity and work for multiple premises uh, what they're saying here let me put this close here yeah so what they're saying here is let's say you are a sole trader so let me, let's de delete this let's say you're a sole trader you have a company and you are the person behind it remember you don't have a legal personality that means that if people go after you they come after you thing is you can you can do business on a different name so you can write yourself in the chamber of commerce KVK, and you can use different names so different name here here and here and that doesn't really matter that's what they are saying here you can use different names to perform different commercial activity so you can have a restaurant on a different name you can have an uh, online uh, company or whatever you can have this on a different name that doesn't matter yeah you are uh, legally obliged to keep record of your business your record and meet your number of requirements finance the books uh, important part of your company records they perform the basic annual account that offer insights into your company financial position have our invoice been paid yeah so technically what they're saying here if you have a company and you have to you're handling on a different name you need to make sure that you have the books of the company that's what they're saying and it's important for tax because they can check your books if everything is okay so that's why you need someone accountant or you can use some accountant programs let the accountant check the program so you don't have to pay a lot so you need to keep track of everything that happens in your company so that's technically what they're saying saying you as a person can be a company you can use different names for different things but you need to keep a track of your books that's what they're saying here so that's what they explain here what is so trader
technically that's what they're saying so if you have question about this let me know if you have question about this what you can do is you can just go to the this uh, page you find the link in the description and you press here law center in the law center we can give you some advice how you can um, start out and you answer some of your questions if you if you have some legal issue you'll be like okay you know what i have some legal issue i have some question i do not know where to start or i do not know what to do in this situation just press here legal advice once a week we have a legal session and during the legal session you can get free legal advice and you can ask questions whatever you want if you find this information this video useful you can buy me coffee when you press this link you will arrive on this page and you can see here you can support me by buying me one coffee three coffee or five coffee it's up to you you can also say something nice or you can become a member i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and belief know what i want so i'll take it on i've made mistakes but mistakes make you strong let's break it down for a minute i want the